There is renewed outrage in the city after another unspeakable act of violence on the TTC. A 16-year-old boy was killed in what police are calling an unprovoked attack. A memorial is growing here at Kiel Station. People have been stopping by all day. Emotions are running high as advocates once again call for a safe and reliable transit system. Flowers and stuffed toys are placed at the entrance of Kiel Station to remember 16-year-old Gabrielle Magalhaes. On Saturday, just before 9 p.m., he was stabbed to death in a random attack. A 22-year-old man of no fixed address has been arrested and charged with first-degree murder. I have two young children, so my heart is absolutely breaks for, for this mother. The deputy mayor visibly shaken at City Hall today at the loss of a child. This is the latest in a string of high-profile, seemingly random attacks on the TTC, and the fourth killing on or near TTC property in less than a year. Absolutely. The randomness is, is really what scares people. It scares me. I mean, let, let's be honest about that. The challenge is that there's no one solution. Toronto police made more than 300 arrests and referred 220 people to shelters when they boosted patrols on the TTC in late January. Those extra patrols ended two weeks ago. They have still committed to having ongoing presence, but it's through the officers that are on duty. We'll be watching to their advice. The TTC tells us it has also increased the presence of special constables, security guards, streets to homes workers and employees in an effort to have more eyes on the system. And yet these random acts, uh, you know, are, are still able to happen. So, you know, all of this is, of course, of great concern to us at the TTC, to our employees and our customers. Uh, we want to reassure them that safety is top of mind in everything that we do. But there's clearly something that's going on in society more broadly uh, that's, that's playing out on, on the public transit system. I believe it's a factor of post-pandemic. Violent incidents are up dramatically since the start of the pandemic, according to a new TTC report. In 2022, attacks were up a startling 60 percent from 2019. We've stripped out through our budgets so many people that work at the TTC on the frontline service that we need to put people back. Eyes on the street, eyes on the bus, eyes on the platform, eyes on the subway. It's the only way. We need to um, really find a way to boost ridership. We need to get people back on the system uh, because there's safety in numbers. But ridership remains well below pre-pandemic levels and as a result, the TTC has adjusted scheduling on almost 40 routes to align service with demand. Our concern is that if fewer people are able to rely on public transit, fewer people take it, if you're waiting late at night for the subway and there's fewer people around, that isn't something that will make the system safer. The service changes include longer wait times on 11 routes, shorter wait times on two routes, and shorter and longer wait times on 24 routes, depending on the time of day. It sends exactly the wrong, uh, the wrong message. It makes it harder for people to access the TTC, especially people who are struggling. And this is just the first round of service cuts. Advocates tell us more could be coming in May. And also, not too far from here, just last night, there was another violent incident on a TTC bus. One man stabbed another man, but police tell us in that case, the two men were known to each other. For City News, I'm Tina Danny.